people, it's Beth here and today I am sharing with you my last empties for the year of 2023. So this includes body care, candles, wax, um, and like hand soap, miscellaneous stuff for around the house. So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started and I will start with shower gels. So the first shower gel that I finished up, this is in the scent Beautiful Day. The notes are, it captures a perfect spring day full of fun and carefree moments. Sun-kissed apple, sparkling cassis, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. I really love this scent. I would definitely repurchase it. It's such a nice, um, like, shower gel scent for the shower. Then another one that I finished up, this one is in the scent Vanilla Mocha Cafe. The notes are Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, and White Tonka Bean. This scent was good. I don't think that I would repurchase it in body care. I think it would smell really good in a candle though, or like even for a hand soap. But just as a shower gel, I didn't, it wasn't a favorite for me. Then I also got through a shower gel in the scent Champagne Toast. I love this one. It's a favorite. The notes are pink champagne, blackcurrant chambord, sparkling nectarine, and sugared musk. This one is a great one. I would definitely repurchase it. And then I got through a little miniature um, shower gel in the scent Dream Bright. And I don't think this one has any notes on the back since it's a mini one. Um, but I really enjoyed it. And I also have another like travel size miniature shower gel in the same scent that I picked up from SAS, I believe. So I'm very happy to have that. Also, speaking of SAS, I really need to go to the SAS and get some new shower gels. I think I need like four scents for spring and summer, two for fall, and two for winter, I think. So Hopefully I can go stock up for the year of 2024 and, you know, just be ready for the year ahead when it comes to body care. This one is empty from my sister. This is in the Winter Candy Apple Body Lotion. I love this scent. My sister liked this scent. Um, it says Red Apple Winter Rose Petals and Fresh Cinnamon. I am currently burning a candle in this scent. And I love it in the shower gel. I just don't use the body lotions enough to justify buying a whole bunch of them. So this one actually was mine and I gave it to her because she uses the lotions on her legs like all the time every day. So anyways, I have a, what is this called? Body scrub. This is from the Pacifica brand. You can get it at Target, but I actually found this one at TJ Maxx for only $5, which was awesome. This is in the scent Lavender Moon. This one is not my favorite. It's lavender and vanilla, and lavender is not always my favorite type of scent, but I really like the Island Vanilla um, scent a lot more. And if I saw this one in the Island Vanilla scent, I would definitely pick it up. I even would pick it up also in the Lavender Moon. It's a good body scrub, um, but it's just not my favorite scent. And then I have three hand soaps. So this first one, this is in Cranberry Peach. And the notes are Sweet Peaches, Tart Cranberry, and Gala Apple. I would definitely pick this one up again. Smelt really good. Nice and fruity. And then I got through a Black Cherry Merlot, another one that I would definitely pick up again. The notes are Dark Cherry, Black Raspberry, and Merlot. This is such a nice scent. And then the last one, also a scent that I would pick up again. This is in Blueberry Glazed Donuts. The notes are Blueberry Glazed Fresh Baked Donuts and Sprinkles. And this is Blueberry Crumble Repackaged. Um, very good scent for sure. Then I have two empty candles. This first one um, was a gift from me to my mom, but we kind of like burned it together. This one is in the scent Salted Pretzel Milkshake. And the notes are Creamy Vanilla Ice Cream, Salty Pretzel Bits, Gooey Chocolate Drizzle. This scent was really good. We burned it and then put it in the candle crock. And then the other candle empty that I have 
is in the scent Strawberry Pound Cake. This one, the notes are fresh picked strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. We burned it and then put it in the candle crock to finish out its life. And both of those scents I really enjoyed and I would repurchase both of them again if Bath & Body Works um, had them available. And then we'll get into the wax melts. All right, for those of you who don't know, for the wax melts, I just do a really quick rundown, like run through of them. If you want to hear about them in more detail, you can check out my What I Melt This Week videos, where I go a lot more in detail about my thoughts on each scent. So I do have two from Ava's Country Cupboard and Caramel Cinnamon Latte. Ava's Country Cupboard is now Traverse City Wax Company. I would repurchase this scent same situation with this next one. I have two empties in the scent Cranberry Citrus from her and also I would definitely repurchase that one as well. I have an empty that was given to me in a random act of kindness from Anna Nation here on YouTube. Thank you so much Anna. I am so happy and thankful that I got to try this scent. It's a blend that she created from Jim's Daughter's Crafts in the scent Christmas Eve. And I've never tried Jim's Daughter's Crafts before now, and it's definitely a vendor that I would like to give a try some more in the future. From Super Tarts, we have the scent Mala Dramatic in a Bam Bag. This one is Mac Apple Sponge Sugar and Mala Fluff. I love this scent. I, I would, of course, definitely repurchase it. From L3 Waxy Wonders, I have Nocturne Alley. This was a two-bunt pack. And the notes are Rainstorm and Marshmallow Fireside. I would repurchase it. And same with Wonka Vision from L3. This one was Strawberry Bread and Cherry Chip Cake. From Destination Wax, I have Lavender Mint, which I loved. I would definitely repurchase it. It is Invigorating Herbal Mint with a splash of lavender. Also from Destination Wax, Coffee Peppermint Mocha. I would repurchase Dark coffee flavored with a perfect balance of fresh peppermint and chocolate. And then Candy Cane Frost, um, which I didn't get the best performance from, so I probably would not repurchase that one. There's just other peppermint and candy cane scents that give so much better performance for me. From Teddy Bees, we have Coffee Bean a la Mode. This one was a souffle. The notes are coffee bean ice cream, vanilla waffle cone, whipped cream, and caramel. I loved this one. I would get it again. And then we also have Crushed Candy Cane Circus Cookies from Teddy Bees. The notes are Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies blended with candy canes and vanilla. Again, I didn't get the best performance with this one, so probably would choose a different peppermint scent that I get a better performance from. From Zape, I have Santa Baby. This one is Vanilla Bean Creamy Marshmallow and Pink Sugar Crystals. I liked this one. I would repurchase it. Same thing with Cindy Lou Who. This one is Peppermint, Vanilla Bean, and Pink Sugar Crystals. And then from Rose Girls, we have Spruce Willis, which I love. The notes are Blue Spruce and Flannel Type. And then another one from Rose Girls is Starbeans Cafe. And the notes are Espresso, Vanilla Crunch Donuts, and Vanilla Bean Noel. So then we get into Clam Shells. From Southbound Candle Co., I have White Christmas. This one is Peppermint, Spearmint, Cotton Candy, and Vanilla Cream. I love this one. I definitely repurchase. We have Peppermint Mocha, another one I loved. Light Milk, Fresh Mint Leaves, Peppermint, Sweetened Coffee, Hot Cocoa, and Vanilla Cream. I would repurchase this one. And then we also have a bakery bag in Snow Cream. This one is Peppermint, Sugared Marshmallows, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Cotton Candy Frosting. I really liked this one and would repurchase it as well. From Harper James, I did a sample in Pumpkin Crunch Cookies. I honestly can't remember how this one did. Um, and then all the rest are from Scentsy. So we have Hemingway, which is in my club. If it's in my club, you can assume that I love it. We have Ghostly Greetings. This one's all right. Um, I don't burn it enough to be able to, you know, keep it in my club, but it's good. Perfect Peppermint. Love it. I definitely get again. 
Candy Crave, love it. I definitely get it again. Icicles in Evergreen, it's all right. Um, I don't think it's available anymore. Anyway, it's taken out of the catalog, I believe. And then last but not least is my beloved Sweet Plum Pastry, which I love. I really hope Sensi adds it back to the catalog again or brings it back in and bring back my bar again someday um, because it's just so amazing, one of my favorite scents. And I'm so sad that I can't get any more of it. So that's everything. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time. And as always, make sure you stay positive till then. Bye.